Hello again. This week we're going to look at online shopping. Uh, and don't worry because I'm not going to expect you to suddenly start online shopping. Um, we're just going to have a look at it and a muck about and uh, that kind of thing. Um, the first thing I need to tell you about it though is that you need to have an email account. So um, that's something that you will need to do. And uh, I thought that uh, we're, next week I think we'll do uh, emails. So I thought this might incentivize you to either uh, find your old email and get it open or uh, maybe create a new one or start using the one that you have that you got with your machine. Uh, hopefully you can get in, but um, next week that's what we're gonna do. So uh, we can do that then. Here's an example that I'm showing you now of my, uh, this is my, an email I got sent today uh, from Amazon. And I'd like to point out Smile Amazon because obviously I feel quite guilty about using Amazon. You know, they don't pay enough tax and they're not very nice to their staff and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when I use Smile Amazon, uh, they give some money to charity. So everything, every time I buy anything, they give some money to charity. And my charity is Northeast Sensory Services. So uh, Northeast Sensory Services help people around the Aberdeen area to who have got... Um, um, sensory impairment so they're they don't hear well or they don't see well or whatever so it's a good cause but uh yeah so that's my excuse <laughs> amongst other things but yeah so they send me this email um it's got my order confirmation on it it's got the time the the date that it's arriving it's got order details i can go in and have a look at and neither the time they'll send me an email to tell me exactly when it's coming so they'll send me an email saying oh um, will be there between four minutes past six and seven minutes past eight or something strange like that. And somebody will come and give me my parcel then. Or I can uh, arrange by going into the tracking, once it comes out, I can arrange for them to give it to my neighbour or um, come another day or whatever. So it's, it's really good. Uh, so the other thing that you'll need is you'll need a, a credit card um, or you'll need a, a PayPal account, or you'll need something like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, one of these ones that comes with your phone or your computer. Um, the ones that they, they usually they come with your phone because these are ones you can actually pay for things in shops with your phone and that kind of stuff. Um, personally, I use a credit card because credit cards are insured. And um, basically, if I lose my money through no fault of my own, um, then the bank has to pay the money. So they, they make sure that I'm very safe. Uh, so that's really good. Um, debit cards you can use uh, online, but it's just a little bit more uh, risky because if something goes wrong, then you basically lose your money. Um, PayPal, um, I'll just quickly show you what they're about. So if I just share my screen. Um, PayPal, let's go into PayPal. So PayPal are basically, um, they're like a buffer between you and the internet. So when I do my credit card uh, transaction, those details go out, my details go out across the um, internet to the person who I'm doing the transaction with. Whereas if I was using PayPal, then what would happen is that I would have once done that with PayPal and the rest of the time PayPal would be doing the transaction on my behalf. So my details wouldn't be going out on the internet. So it makes it a little bit safer. So um, what you'd have to do is, I don't have a PayPal account, you'd have to sign up for it. Uh, so you'd go PayPal. You could see that we're definitely in PayPal because it's uh, we've got the padlock there on the address bar, uh, the URL address bar. So you've got the padlock there telling me that it's safe. I want a personal account, so yeah. And from now on in, I'm gonna have to start giving them some details. So I'd have to put in my mobile number and it would have to be my mobile number really. So they, they do things, I mean, anything where they ask for your mobile number, it really does need to be your mobile number um, so that you can um, receive the tech, uh, the, yeah, they send you text. So you might go to do a transaction, they're not sure whether it's you or not, the goal will send you a four digit code onto your mobile. So if it's somebody else's mobile, you're in trouble because <laughs> uh, unless you phone them up and ask them what it is, but uh, it's a bit of a pain. I suppose you can do that, though. you know, it's a bit of a pain. But that's what you do. You sign up for PayPal. You can have a little PayPal account. You can pay money into it uh, using your, I guess you would use your debit card to do that. 
um, or your credit card. But this is a safer way for a debit card if you don't have a credit card. Uh, you connect it up to your bank account and then you put in a certain amount of money and then you can only spend that amount of money, uh, which is good. Or you can get credit, so it depends. But you can, uh, I think they, when you start, when you first of all have it, um, you can only spend a certain amount of money um, until you sort of arrange to do something else. So that's PayPal. So let's go into Google then. Um, so here we are on Google. Now, I don't have to just go into a website uh, to find things, but uh, what I could do is I could just type in the thing that I want right into Google. So I go washing machine. And then we'll get all these washing machines coming up. And look, we've got AO, we've got John Lewis, we've got Curry's, yeah. So they're coming up at the top. These ones are all coming up at the top because they're ads. So basically they've paid money to get to the top of the list so that you go for them first. Um, which isn't, there's nothing wrong with that in itself in the sense that, you know, that doesn't mean that these are bad people. <laughs> it just means that they've paid to get there. Um, so it's maybe not the one that you were looking for, it's not on the top, yeah. Um, you've also got questions about washing machines. There's Argos, uh, Beko and so on, John Lewis. So you can go into any of these websites and you can look for washing machines. And if you don't fancy those, you could keep going. You can press the next button, it takes you to the next page and so on. There's pages and pages and pages of washing machines. Um, AO are a, an online company, so they're only online. They're not, they don't have to pay for um, premises and so on. So you can get, sometimes get a better deal from them because they're, you know, like I say, they've got lower overheads than a, a store would have. Um, so we've got, uh, there's a washing machine there, various washing machines, like 269, 399. All different, you know, so this one's got a nine kilo capacity and so on. They're all very good rating wise. So what we can do is we can hide the stuff that's out of stock. We don't want to look at things and then be told we can't have them. Um, and I'm just scrolling again. I've, I've come on to here or I can grab this bar. I can click on, on that bar and then just drag it down the way like this. Drag, drag, drag. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. And then I can select the price that I want. So maybe if I wanted a, a slightly cheaper one than they've shown me, and then I, then all the ones I see will be uh, in my price range, if that's my price range. So we can have a look at that, various ones. Now they're all getting five star reviews. It seems a bit unlikely, but let's have a look at the reviews. So people have obviously, they have to be um, real customers in order to put in these reviews. So. Uh, lots of people saying that they really like it. They bought it for their elderly mother. Does what it says on the tin. We washed great, but very unbalanced. So the heavier load unbalances the drum and it moves across the floor. Okay. So we've got no fuss. So let's have some more reviews. Okay, easy to use, perfect, and so on. Very unbalanced. Oh, that's the same one. Best machine ever. Merely okay. Vibrates a lot. So you can look at this and I mean, even the bad reviews might just, you might say, well, I can, I can tolerate that if I can have a cheaper washing machine. So very useful to look at the reviews. Unfortunately, this one doesn't let you just go straight to the bad ones, which I like to do. I like to have a look at the top, the middle and the bottom, just see what they're saying. Um, and even if you're not going to buy something online, this is useful if you've, if there's some that you've maybe looked at somewhere, maybe I can't imagine where you'd be at the moment, <laughs> Tesco's or something, but uh, if there's somewhere where you've looked at them, you can come online and you can have a wee nosy about it. So let's go, we'll go, actually what I might do is, because I'm logged in here, what I might do is I, I'll, I'm right clicking on here and I'm left clicking to select this uh, new private window because I'm not logged in here. And so therefore it'll treat me like it would treat you um, as a new person. So I'm gonna accept the cookies because I'm not too worried about Amazon particularly. Um, and let's have a look. So there's the site, there's various things that they're showing me if I want to look like that, but 
The other way to do it is just to come straight up here. I mean, I could choose from different categories if I wanted to. So there's, see where that was? It was the little arrow here. Um, and I can click there and then I can go to books or go to clothing. But you can see the huge amount of different things that you can buy from Amazon. So I don't think I'd buy a washing machine. I mean, you could do, but um, I don't know. Um, it's up to yourself, isn't it? Uh, let's have an electric toothbrush. So I'm going to look at an electric toothbrush. So here we go, got quite a lot of them. Uh, blimey, that's expensive. I don't think I would pay that for a toothbrush, jeez. Okay, so we've got a bit of a contrast there. We've got this at 169.99 and this one at 19 pounds 90, 19 pounds 98. Okay, well it's reduced from 40, but still a lot cheaper. Okay, let's have a look at the reviews then. Uh -huh. Now this one's better because I can actually choose. Um, I'm just scrolling up and down. Where's that thing going? What's happened there? Something strange has happened. I ended up in a funny place. Ah, here we go. That happens. Right, yeah, this is what I was looking for so that I could choose the particular ones. So obviously most people are saying it's great. Um, but let's see the people that are saying it's dreadful. Okay. Well used toothbrush appear. Disgusted to receive a used <laughs> toothbrush. Oh no. Ugh. Yuck. How this even managed to be sent out to a customer, especially under the current pandemic we're in, I do not know. I've requested a refund. Oh my goodness. This is one of the reasons people use Amazon. It's very easy to get a refund. Um, faulty. So it cuts out. Uh, dear. Rubbish battery. Stops working. Doesn't hold its charge. It's not very good. No oh dear. So let's try, well, a little bit better than that. I'll go for the three star. Okay, inexpensive. So we, we know that. I don't mind the lack of a red light showing the battery discharged. With my last toothbrush, that only came on when it was too late. The lack of a green light to indicate charging is more of a problem. Yeah, I would say so. Um, uh, yeah, because then you don't know whether it's charging or not. So that's a bit annoying. Um, it doesn't have a two minute timer. They were thinking that might have, they should have maybe bought a more expensive one. Comes with a stupid two pin plug. Cleans your teeth, must remember to charge. Okay. So those people are, they're okay with it. Let's go straight to the, even better than the last model. Fantastic, great. So lots of people think it's great. As good as the more expensive ones. I've used this model for many years, find it the best value for money. Uh, I've just received it. I bought my first one five years ago and only changed it because the handle was stained. So like I say, this is really good because you can kind of have a look and just see what you think because what works for one person doesn't work for another and so on. So you can just select it, what works for you. Okay, what other kind of things can you get on, the, on Amazon? So, by soap, hand soap, there you go, organic soap, so you can buy soap, what other kind of things can you buy on Amazon? You can buy, strangely, you can buy flour. So, I mean, you can literally buy anything. This is the thing with Amazon that where they've got the advantage because you can literally buy anything. And it's not, um, you know, they're not storing all this stuff. They're buying it from uh, um, sellers. And also some people have an, you know, they have a seller's account on Amazon. So a lot of the time you are buying it directly from some small producer. So it's not all bad. Um, I would prefer if they paid all their tax though, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, so lots of different kinds of flour. Um, I mean, you can literally get anything. And it's where you go when you basically can't find it anywhere else. Silver earrings. So you can get little silver earrings. And of course you could buy them all at once, all these different things and one delivery. And if you, I think you've, you've got to buy over 20 pounds worth of stuff and it you get, get delivered for free. And you can get some quite, I mean, you can get all sorts of weird things like this is where I buy my, um, Hydrogen peroxide, because I use it, I make my own cleaning products. So I buy big containers of hydrogen peroxide, not for cleaning my teeth, it's going on there. 
hydrogen peroxide, uh, 3%, yeah. Um, I buy it in a big five liter. Yeah, five liters, please. Um, hydrogen peroxide. Um, so I buy that to use as a cleaning product. Yeah, so I make my own cleaning products. That's a bit, a bit hippy, isn't it? Uh, so Amazon, again, you have to have, a, you have, to have an account. Um, other ones you don't. Amazon you do. Uh, so let's have a look at eBay. So you've probably heard of eBay. Um, it's the same, actually. There's an extent to which um, you can buy anything on eBay. And you can buy things that are secondhand on eBay, which is uh, really good. And also, sometimes it's cheaper than Amazon. It's got the same kind of variety. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy flour on it. Let's have a look if you can buy flour. So did you mean almond flour? Look, uh, almond flour, coconut flour, bread flour. Yeah, so you can buy large amounts of flour there. Probably the same sellers. Uh, let me see. So let's go for silver earrings. But this is the difference. I mean, you can buy secondhand things on um, Amazon as well. It tells you that they're used if you do so the silver earrings. And so we've got brand new ones, obviously, as well. But let's go for silver earrings uh, used. And people just sell off their stuff, right? So we've got a bundle here. Um, now you can buy it now. You can just go, there's a, there'll be, let's have a look. So we've got two different choices here. We can buy it now for £8.40, yeah? Just go pay the £8.40 uh, by credit card or PayPal, look, there's PayPal. Um, or whatever you've got, um, and you'll just get it. Now, another thing you can do, and this is why people love eBay, is you can bid on it. Uh, so you can put in a bid and hope that your bid wins. So if I back out, I think I can show you that. It's not something I really do. It doesn't say when it runs out. Usually it's got like a date that's the last time you can get the bid in, but I think maybe because nobody's put in a bid yet. Um, this one, uh, fake diamonds and so on. Um, you can buy them for three ninety nine, but you could put in a bid. You're gonna to have to pay two pound ninety nine postage. Forty seven minutes left. So what people do is they put in a lowest bid and they hope that they've got the highest bid, and then the highest bid wins. Um, I mean, sometimes they've got a reserve price, and then you just don't get it. But usually, I mean, sometimes you can get things for an absolute song. And people love that. People love getting a bargain. So eBay is your collector site, your bargain hunter site. I know people that were like addicted to it, just buying all sorts of nonsense, but also selling all sorts of nonsense. So you can sell pretty much anything. You have to work out how much it's going to cost in postage um, to do that. And uh, you can uh, you can sell things. They take a little um, money off you. eBay. Again, doesn't charge the buyer, only charges the seller. So um, if you're selling things, they'll have a little commission. Um, but it's, it gets out all over the world. If you sell things on eBay, you can get things from anywhere in the world. You can get anything. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, an example of that. So we'll go World War II uh, medals. Yeah, so let's have a look at them. So this is for, you know, if you're a collector, then this is where to go. You can collect things. Um, so here we go, buy it now or best offer, there's nothing on them yet, this is five hours, there's four bids on this, so they put it in for six pounds, oh right, okay, this, is, this isn't a buy, this doesn't have a buy it now, it's an auction, so you go in and there's five days left, so that's quite a while, a lot of people do, what they do is they hunt through and they find things where there's like 25 minutes left and then put in a in a bed and but uh, people are waiting people you know they'll you sometimes get a thing that says uh, however many people are watching this yeah because loads of people are all watching it waiting for the last minute to put their bid in and get their get their cheap deal um so it's a place for selling things it's a place for buying things um like i say you can get this you you get these offers on the older um objects like these you're more likely to it's more likely to be an auction but sometimes you'll get ones that say, buy it now or an auction, you've got a choice. Uh, you can uh, have some fun with it. Uh, so eBay, a lot of people buy uh, secondhand clothes and things like that on eBay as well. So you can get shoes. Uh, so we'll go uh, women's, uh, women's pajamas, why not? 
Uh, and so these are likely to be uh, second hand and they'll tell you if they are. Um, the, a lot of the stuff's um, new as well, um, but they'll tell you if they've, if they've been worn already, but these are all buy it now. These are all new, probably come from China. Um, but you can get, you know, you can put in, I could put in women's pajamas uh, used and get really cheap ones, I'm guessing. Although, oh, maybe not. Maybe people don't like secondhand pajamas. Uh, yeah, next pajama size eight. Yeah, so these will be ones, and they'll probably claim that uh, they've never worn them before. But uh, hmm, who knows? Uh, but it's a way of getting really cheap things. So eBay is a, a great option. You don't need to uh, have an account to buy something on eBay. You can just use a, a standard way of paying. You check in as a guest if you're going to do that. Um, so basically, you find the thing that you want. Um, well, we find some pajamas. So if I go. Um, I guess size 12. Wishful thinking at the moment, actually, after a lockdown, I've got to say. Women's Disney pajamas, 99p. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, 3.85 it's going to cost us to, to, for the postage. Ah, okay, that's a starting bid. So I could put in a bid here and then I can watch it to see what happens. Or I can just watch it. <laughs> so I can watch the item and then at the last minute I can pounce like a tigger. And... Um, and get my really cheap pajamas. Okay, let's have a look at something else. Uh, this is Etsy. Um, now, this is a lot of um, local people uh, use this, a lot of artists and crafts and things like that. So if you like, um, maybe things that are individual, you see these things have got names on them and things like that, because these are little, um, a lot of the people here are we folk just making things. And so you order things. Uh, so I don't know if I go in engraved in the UK, let's go for that. Um, so these are all engraved things. So you can get all sorts of things, jewelry and um, all sorts of stuff. I mean, look at this, uh, sort of plaque for outside your house, pens and things. So like I say, made to measure, made to order. Um, what else could we look for? Well, let's look for silver jewelry. And I suppose if I was buying silver jewelry, oh, got to spell it right. Uh, I suppose if I was buying silver jewelry, then maybe this is where I would come because these are lots of people making um, making jewelry around the place. Um, so lovely silver bangles and things. So nice things. And um, what else? So I would say for Etsy, is if you want kind of art, arty things, crafty things, uh, spoons in the UK. There we go. And I mean, lovely spoons. Look at that. I think you can actually get, a, yeah, you can get a spoon with your own face on it <laughs> or somebody else's face on it. You can get all sorts of things. And also, so it's not just small things. You can get, uh, like, if I wanted a, a desk made in the UK, um, there's all sorts of people making handmade ones out of driftwood and all sorts, yeah? So, free UK delivery. So, it's great for that kind of stuff. Um, and if you like art, so we're like, let's get painting. Painting in the UK. And this way, if you're doing it in the UK, it means that you're kind of trying to sponsor local people um, to make things for you. So, lots of art and things like that. Okay, so lastly, let's have a look at Argos. So here we are in Argos. Um, I just have to accept the cookies. Um, here we are in Argos, and I mean, I can just scroll through like this, you know, like I was saying, you know, one finger, depending on what kind of machine you've got. Um, and then I could maybe just browse around here, but just like all of them, click into the search box, and then I can put in what I want. So what will I go for with Argos then? Well, we'll try silver earrings actually, since I've been looking at those in the different sites. Let's get a bit of comparison. And uh, here we go, quite cheap. Uh, lots of different ones. And I can select what kind I want, if it's a special kind. So I want to just look only silver ones and so on, yeah. Um, and Argos, as you're well aware, I would think, uh, they've got things like washing machines. Um, and obviously with them, again, you can just buy things as a guest and then you can just go and pick it up 
um, from Argos. But if you want them to deliver, you have to uh, get yourself an account. So again, we've got to, uh, well, let's have a look at this one. Um, so there we go. We can choose different colors. So I can have a black washing machine. There we go. Um, you've got different options and things about this product, tell you all about it. Um, let's have a look at the reviews. There's only five reviews on this, so it's not very many, and they're all five star. So they're not, it's not telling us that much. Oh, it's a big drum, this one. It's quiet. Yeah. I'd want to see something with a bit more. I'd, I'd go to a different, I'd, what I would do is I would copy this. So that, I suppose me sort of highlighting, I was going to click and dragging across it, and I'm going to right click and copy it. <laughs> and I'm going to go into Google. And I'm going to I have to agree because it doesn't know who I am. I'm still in a private window. I just did a thing where I went control and V, which is a way of going paste. Yeah. Uh, if I was on a phone, I would hold my finger and then go paste. Um, and I've got lots of different, let's go to AO, so look at the same machine. And so this is the same one, 86 customer reviews. So I've got a bit, few more reviews. I want to see everybody saying it's brilliant. Okay, so far. I can't just click to the bad reviews. Oh, there is a two star one there somewhere. I've just got to scroll through them all. Perfect and so on. Well, most people seem to think it's good. Well, let's go at the end. See if it's at the end, a horrible review where they said it was rubbish. No, it looks like I'd be here all day. Um, well, it seems to be getting really good reviews everywhere. So that would be something where, uh, you know, maybe maybe I should go for that machine then. So I hope I've given you like a little look around. Um, like I say, you don't have to do anything on these uh, to go into these sites and look at things. Um, I think we'll, we will do, we will look at a little, little bit more. Oh, we'll uh, get somebody else's teeth in today. I will, uh, I will look at some other uh, shopping at a later point. So I will do emails next week. And if we've got time, we might have a look at just clothes shopping um, or we'll do it in a subsequent week. Um, so this week, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to have a look at some of these sites. So have a look at Amazon, have a look at eBay, have a look at Etsy. You don't have to look at Argos if you don't want to, uh, but, uh, but you can. But it'd be nice to have a look at those ones, I think. And um, pick three things that you're going to search for and have a search for them around those sites. So um, maybe a, bit, an, a large electrical item would be a good thing. Well, it doesn't have to be large. An electrical item is always good because then you get to, a good chance to read through the reviews and see what people are saying because people tend to be very um, direct about uh, whether their iron works or not or whether their pressure washer works or whatever. Um, so have a look at something like jewellery or a collectible um and maybe furniture see if you can have a look at furniture maybe dining room chairs or something like that so what to do is make a little list write down your three things your electrical item your furniture uh, and either your collectible or jewelry or maybe soft furnishings like a, a duvet cover or something like that and then go to the different websites go to amazon go to etsy go to ebay and see what you can find uh, and go to Argos as well if you want. Um, so if you can't think of three things, if you're like, oh, I don't know what to look for, then I'm going to suggest them for you. Um, I want you to look for a Hoover, uh, a vacuum cleaner, I should say, but I'm old school, a Hoover. Um, dining room chairs and duvet covers or silver jewellery. So have fun, enjoy doing that. Um, and next week, like I say, we'll, we'll look at... Uh, how to use emails um, so that if you do a later date want to uh, start online shopping, then you'll be able to. Okay, so have fun. See you next week. Um, it's been lots of fun for me as usual. I hope it's been fun for you. Bye.